bullet cartridges come in all shapes and sizes, from the tiny 22 millimeter all the way up to the massive 50 caliber. The shell or shell casing is what's left, and that's what we're going to be using today. <laughs> I live in the United States and I do exercise my second amendment right to keep and bear arms. And I go to firing ranges to keep my skills up. Now I see debate starting in the comments about whether or not you should own a gun, but this project involves shell casings no matter how you get them. We'll be using center fire shell casings and you want to make sure there's a dimple right in the center here. That means it's a spent shell casing and the primer that fires the bullet is no longer live and inside this casing. All right, let's fire away. For this first one, we'll be using a standard nine millimeter casing. Now we're gonna need to shine up these shells, so I'll be using my Dremel with a steel brush attachment. To make life easier, I'm gonna secure it in my Panavise. And then I found a nylon bolt that fits tightly inside this casing to hold it in place. I'll run that steel brush over it and all the way around to give it a nice shine. When it's shiny enough for my taste, I'll remove that steel brush and change it out with this cloth polish wheel which will buff it to a high gloss finish. You can really see the difference between my new buffed out shell casing and an old one. I have a pair of these reusable earplugs that have a noise reduction rating of 27 dB that I'll occasionally use at the firing range. So using a razor blade, I'm going to cut the cord between these two earplugs. Now I've got just the plugs alone, which is all I need for this project. And we'll break out the hot glue, which is what we're going to use for all of these projects. We'll slowly add one squirt to the cartridge and then we'll add the earplug, and I'm gonna hold it in place until the glue dries. Then we'll repeat the same process with the other casing. Now I've taken those ordinary earplugs and turned them into a couple of really cool ones. I think they look great. Okay, it's time to use a larger caliber shell now. We're going all the way up to 45. And we'll go through the same polish and cleaning process. This time I found a wooden dowel and I wrapped a little bit of electrical tape around it to sit comfortably inside this larger size cartridge. And I'll be using four standard size tire valve caps. Again, a decent amount of hot glue inside the casing. And then I'll add the tire valve. Try to make it as flush as possible to the end of the casing. That's the way it ought to look. And now I'll repeat the process with the other three shells. And I've just turned ordinary tire valve caps into ones that are much cooler for my Jeep. This next one is real easy. We'll go back to the 9mm caliber now, and we'll be using two ordinary plastic tacks. These standard tacks fit perfectly inside this 9mm shell. And using a little hot glue and putting the tack in place, we've just turned ordinary thumbtacks into military-style bullet tacks. You could also make these magnetic by gluing a neodymium magnet inside. As you can imagine, I pretty much do all my own handyman stuff around the house, so I had this leftover 12-2 electrical wire. It's got 12-gauge copper wire inside, so I cut and stripped a 6-inch piece. Now this will be shaped into a circle, and it's going to go around my wrist. Okay, I have hairy arms, I know, and I also have kind of small wrists, so this piece will work. And I also have a nice roll of paracord that I'll be using. This paracord is eighth inch in diameter. I got my two nine millimeters shined up, ready to go. So let's build this paracord bullet bracelet. We're gonna take an end of the copper wire and line up an end of the paracord to that. Then we'll put some hot glue inside this casing. Be sure to add enough because you could always trim the rest later. And then push the wire and the paracord into the casing. Hold it in place long enough to make sure it's secure. Then we'll begin to wrap the paracord around the wire. Make sure you wrap it as tight as you can so there's no gaps. Keep wrapping until you get towards the end, and then we'll use a razor and cut that paracord. Then we'll add hot glue to our other casing and push in the wire and paracord in the other casing until the glue is dry. Now it's not quite a bracelet yet. We have to shape it into a half circle and we're done. You've just made a cool paracord bullet bracelet. So there's four clever uses for old bullet shells. 
Hey, check out some of my other videos by clicking these links and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.